Hello, good night, greetings, hi. Welcome to Ronnie Sheila Moody's Fancy Lady Music Channel. And today, tonight, I have an esteemed guest with me, none other than... Robert the Wise Brownie. Robert the <laughs> Wise And we're, don't ask us why we're at a Denny's after midnight. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Right. <laughs> Actually, I was kidding. Dubs will tell us why we're in Vegas. Well, we're here because I had a show with Shaggy. What was the street? What's the festival called again? The Fremont Street Luau. Right, that, that's right there. Yes, we had a concert in 102 degree weather. <laughs> Excuse me, 111 degree oh, weather. Right, right, right. It's 102 yes. now. Yeah. That is after midnight. It was interesting. Very interesting. But it was a good concert and a great crowd. So, Dubs, you've been touring with Shaggy for more than two decades. What, how do you cope with performing in extreme weather, like extreme heat like this? Um, you just power through, you know, you just go out and do it. Because there's nothing else to do really. Make sure you hydrate. I seldom drink water on stage, and tonight I had maybe two bottles there, so so you just have to do it and don't think about it, you know. Yeah. Tell us about the vibe of the show today. Wow, it was funny enough when I went on stage. I have a habit of not looking in the audience until we start playing. So I go out, plug my guitar in, but my back is to the audience the whole time. And from sound check, I saw what the place is like empty. So I did not expect that crowd at all. And when I finally turned around now, after setting up my guitar and I saw the crowd, I was like, oh shit, wow. You know, but um, the vibe of the crowd, they were, you know, enjoying it. And um, the vibe of the band, despite the heat, you know, we tried to put out, you know, put some energy out and put on a good show. So it was a good vibe and Shaggy did his usual, you know. Yeah, Shaggy was amazing. Yeah. Speaking of that, Shaggy has a new album out uh, that you played on yes. with, with Sting. Tell us about yes. that album. Um, album is called Come Fly With Me. It's a spin-off um, Frank Sinatra's songbook. Um, I played, the, I think there are 11 songs on the record and I played eight or nine of them. Wow. Yeah, myself and another guitarist from Jamaica, Monty, Lamont Savory, we played the track. Um, funny story, which probably shouldn't go out there, but they originally rec um, started the recording in Miami and tried to use another guitarist. Oh, and it didn't work out. Let's just say that. Okay, oh, good. <laughs> and they, you know, came to Jamaica and for the dubs and the Monty, and wow. we made it work. You know. <laughs> so it was you, Sting, and Shaggy in Jamaica. Um. Yes. No. Actually, how I ended up playing on the record too was Stephen Lenky Mars. Then. Okay. Yeah, Lenky. Uh -huh. He was one of the let's call him a co-producer or assistant producer. But Sting actually produced the record. He didn't really. Sting played one song on the record and he did some support vocals. Mm -hmm. But Lenky um, was the one who kind of directed the reggae aspect of the record. So he was the one who came and said, you know, let's. Oh, he was in Miami with them doing the recording and he said, I'll go to Jamaica and record Robert, myself, and Monty. And they, that was a Sunday and Shaggy and Sting and them came in on the Monday to do some horn stuff and some vocals. So the day when I went to the studio, it was just me, Monty and Lenke at the studio. And that session, I think is the longest session I've had like that. We got to the studio at midday and we left at maybe 10.30 the night. Wow. Because we had to play all the songs before Sting got there. Wow. <laughs> so it was intense. It wow, was intense. I can imagine. Yeah. It's a beautiful album and the more I listen to it, the more I like it, especially the horn arrangements. Oh, yeah. And, and that's, that's Dean, actually. Originally, I heard they were going to take it to the U.S. to get um, Bradford. Oh, Bradford, okay. It. Yeah, but I don't know what happened then. They ended up doing the horns in Jamaica. So Dean and a group named Class Brass, which is some young cats. Um, Akil McIntyre on trumpet, Randy. 
Fletcher and trombone I and uh, O'Shea in love it. and sax as well. Okay, wow. As well as Dean Frears and they all played it. Wow. Well. It came on wicked, it came on nice. Perhaps Branford. I'm mad at his butt because the last time I saw you, Branford, you were mean to me, but I'm gonna, <laughs> it's forgiveness week. Yeah. So, that, But next time, mm -hmm. um, next bell, let me release thing, Branford Delfio, Doug. Dean Fraser, all of the great jazz and reggae musicians, because that would just bring it yeah. home, really. Yeah. You've got your pop artist, your jazz artist, and your reggae artist. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be. What is your favorite song on Come Fly With Me? Um, the song we played tonight. Um, I have two favorites. That's the first one we played tonight was. Uh, that's life. Yeah, that's life. <laughs> that's life, and another one. Um, uh, I remember the bass line. I can't remember the song. I don't remember the name of the song, but it was a slow one. Let me try. But, but I really love I think it's Angel Eyes. Angel Eyes, yes, yes, yeah. the classic Frank. And this is Frank Sinatra's domain, Vegas. Oh, yeah, he right. ruled this right. city. Right. So it was appropriate that y'all played some yeah. Frank Sinatra yeah. tonight. That's tonight was the first we actually played the single, the, not the single, the title track, Come Fly With Me. Uh -huh. Tonight's the first we actually performed it live. That's, oh, yeah. that's great. Congratulations. Yeah. All right. But, so what's, what do you have solo projects? In the works. Oh wow, well for me, I'm still promoting my album from last year, Cliff Miley Fash. Um, I did the YouTube thing, I don't know if you saw that. The, the, um, the performance I did, the live performance I did. Yes, the, yes, I, I watched it, it, yes. Um, besides that, I'm still finishing up the album uh, that was supposed to be, well it is a tribute to my mom. And that album just seems to be taking forever to finish. I mean, it's all complete and everything. One song leave to mix, and that's that's really it. I wanted to release it this month, but it's not finished. So. And what and what's your mom's name? Which is the title album? Oh, the, the Elaine Marie. Elaine Marie. Yeah, that was. I think I'm going to change that title mm -hmm. now, but it was from inception. It was it called Elaine Marie Elaine after Marie. my mother. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Can't, yeah. can't wait to hear that. Yeah. And um, I'm going to drop a link to your YouTube channel in the description box, but just tell the viewers about your YouTube channel. Oh, my YouTube channel is uh, Robert W. Wise Brownie. Yeah, YouTube mm -hmm. slash Robert W. Wise Brownie. Okay. I pretty much have anything Robert W. Wise Brownie on there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. So music, um, music videos, live performances, and um, I do this thing called Song and a Story. Right? Song and a Story, that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. So, Song and a Story. A bunch of stuff. Yeah, and they're great. They're quite a storyteller, that's great. So, um, Fancy Lady Music Channel, this, this one fancy, I'm gonna tell you about one fancy thing I have on. It's um, some kind of frame necklace by Home by Ariel. Um, and, it's a, and she's a black designer. She, her collection is in Macy's. I saw a lady with the earrings at a fantastic McGrito listening party, and I just fell in love with this lady's design. So here we oh, go. Nice. Got our necklace with our. I could change the pictures. I think oh, I'm going to cool. put a picture of my parents, my mom and dad, in here. So tell us about something fancy you have on today. Something fancy. I have on a tiger's eye necklace as well. It's <laughs> beautiful. And oh, I wear, I, I like tiger's eye and onyx. Onyx. So I have this onyx bracelet as well as this blue glass that Sheila just gave me. What do you call it? Um, African blue bottle glass. Blue bottle glass, right. I went to the Whitney Slave Plantation in New Orleans in 2018 and it was um, um, very moving. A lot of people left that tour crying. But anyway, so I thought I had lost that bracelet. I cried for weeks, thinking I was stupid, I lost mine. This morning, as I was getting ready to come and see Shaggy and Dubs, there it was, <laughs> sitting in front of me. And I said, wow, Dubs is supposed to have it. Could you so, show it again? <laughs> so I have it now. Uh, so you got your onyx yes. and your African, African blue, blue glass. All right, thank you. So Dubs, um, just sign us out. Um, how do you sign out now? <laughs> Thank you for watching. This is 
Sheila's Fancy, Fancy Lady Music Channel. Fancy Lady Music and Channel. This band performed in 111 degree heat. Yes. She's exhausted. Yes. So check out his channel and we will see you later. Bye-bye.